Today I'm gonna to show you guys my favorite chili recipe. I'm gonna be making it in the quick cooker using the slow cooker option. If you have a crock pot, you can go ahead and make this recipe right in your crock pot. I've gone ahead and I've already got a half a pound of hamburger and a half a pound of sausage and I'm gonna set the quick cooker to sear and we're gonna get that started. Once you find sear, you're gonna hit start. The reason I like using my quick cooker is because I can brown the meat right in the same pot. If you are using a different slow cooker, you're gonna to wanna to do this step on your stove top. While that's going, I'm gonna go ahead and get my beans open and rinse them off. So these beans come with a pop top. I don't know about you guys, but I have never been very good at getting my finger under there and popping them open. I never have fingernails, and if you do, I know some people worry about breaking them. That's where our can opener comes in handy. It's got this little hook on the side. Slip it under, and go all the way around until it comes right off. My recipe calls for one can of dark and one can of light kidney beans. If you have two cans of dark, do that. Two cans of light, you can do that. You can substitute it for whichever ones you want. I'm also gonna need a cup of corn. I'm gonna be using the Easy Read measuring colander so it'll, I can just pour the corn in until I hit a cup and drain it all out. Once you've made it all the way around, Take your little claw on the edge, pop it off. I like this colander because it's got the nice handle and you can hook it right on the side of your sink and drain it all right there. While that's going, we're gonna go ahead and get the rest of our stuff ready. I've got three more cans to open. You're gonna need one can of, I'm using petite diced tomatoes. You can use regular diced. You can even use Rotel if you want it super spicy. Go ahead and grab a nice hot can of Rotel. And then two cans, or one if you buy the right size, I didn't, of tomato sauce. I prefer to buy the no salt added kind. You can just buy a regular can. For the recipe, I'm going to need a diced tomato. Tomato, uh, onion, okay. I'm gonna need a diced to. <laughs> <laughs> the recipe calls for a diced onion. Since this is a bigger onion, I'm actually gonna only dice up about half of it. Once the meat's all done, I also like to add in little smokies. This is one of my additions to the recipe. I prefer to cut them in half, so while this is going, you just stop and cut them all in half. If you like the video, give it a like, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications so you don't miss future videos. Once your meat's all browned off, you're gonna go ahead and shut it off so it stops searing. Now we can start pouring in the rest of our stuff. Adding the cans of the tomato sauce. Now I'm gonna pour in the beans. The corn, onions, and little smokies. Two tablespoons of chili powder. And I'm gonna give it a mix. You might look at this and think there is not enough liquid in here. Don't worry, the onions as they slowly cook down produce their own liquid and that's gonna add more to the mixture. Plus you don't want your chili super liquidy, you want it nice and thick. And then the last ingredient is one of my favorites and something I choose just to add in. I'm gonna go ahead and grind up an ounce of dark chocolate.
and now we're just gonna pour it in. Stir it. If you have the quick cooker glass lid at this point, you can put it on, set it to slow cook. I'm just gonna go ahead and use the regular lid for it, just without a seal. Set it on. Gonna select slow cook. Our slow cooker only cooks on high. So this recipe said if you cook it on high to do it for four hours. So now I'm just gonna press start. So I'll see you back in four hours. If you go past your four hours while your chili is cooking, don't even worry about it. The quick cooker goes into a warming mode, so it pretty much shuts off and just keeps it warm until you're ready to eat it. I love to put fresh shredded cheese on top, so I'm gonna go ahead and shred up some cheddar cheese. And now you're ready to have dinner. All right guys, I'll talk to you next time. Bye.